The plan was to share a video with you about how incredibly grateful I am as to where my life is now, uh, where it was last time I was in Cape Town in 2009. And I'm blown away by the fact that I get to travel so much uh, for work and that I have these amazing guys back in Johannesburg running the business and that we're looking at expanding into Natal and into the Western Cape. And the fact that when I was here 10 years ago, I was sober, but I was in a very bad state because I wasn't able to earn an income and uh, all of the, you know, just wasn't able to buy food. And I was having to eat bread off the table, buy bread off the tables um, at Checkers in Seapoint that was put out at 8.30 for the homeless people to buy. And the fact that I can now afford to feed myself, I can pay staff, um, my amazing coaches. But I was having breakfast across the road this, from the hotel this morning. And I saw a guy eating food out of a dustbin and drinking what was left in a coffee cup out of a dustbin. <sighs> And it, it, it hit me really hard because no human being deserves that. No human being deserves to eat food out of a dustbin. And I know in my heart that I had support around me that stopped me going further down the road, that I may well have ended up there. Mental illness, drug addiction, alcoholism, can put us into a position that is or a direction that ends us up on, on a road to being homeless, being on the street and losing everything. Sorry guys, I wasn't expecting to make a video of this length and this is really tough. Um, so what I wanted to say here is that I'm incredibly grateful for where my life is now and how far it's come and the amazing support and network that I have around me. My amazing clients, uh, our amazing clients, our corporates, our privates, our amazing coaches. We have a team of five guys now and they are the best. And what I wanted to say was and what hit me so hard today is that I made a decision many years ago that I was going to dedicate my life to the service of others. I was going to build an amazing life and the foundation of that life was going to be helping others find their true value and find their true worth and empowering them to utilize their value and their worth so they may build amazing lives because no one deserves to be on the street and no one deserves to have their potential wasted. Uh, or not fulfilled, not uh, through lack of opportunity. That's what it comes down to. It's lack of opportunity that's depriving people of their ability to live an incredible, wonderful, beautiful, amazing life. So what I wanted to say to you guys is that it's each and every one of our responsibility to make a difference, to help where we can, we can't rely on government, on institutions. You know, we've got to do it ourselves, uh, whether government helps or not. It's, it's up to each and every one of us to make a difference to those around us. And it broke my heart to see this man having to eat food out of a dustbin. But it's also re-fired me up. And I think out of all of the reasons coming to Cape Town, this was the reason. I needed to see this because it's reignited my, refired up my passion and like, yo, I'm, I'm angry now and I'm fired up and I'm burning, um, I'm going to burn this fuel and so watch this space guys, we're going to make a serious difference. You know, we already have 1,900 kids that have access to our training. I want that by f up to 5,000 within the next six months to a year. And we're going to start making more of a difference. Like I'm, I'm passionate now. So the passion's back up again. To, uh, uh, it's to a point I didn't even realize that I had. So thank you guys for the support that you give me. Thank you for your faith in what we do. And 
for not enabling us to do this. I love you all. Us.